My name is Sherry Torres, and I'm here at Loops Knitting in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And I'd like to show you how to crochet a chemo hat. When crocheting a chemo hat, it's not so important the style of the hat. What's more important is the material the hat is made from. When someone needs a hat for their head because their hair is getting thin or they're losing their hair because of their chemotherapy, you don't want them wearing anything itchy or scratchy. It's important to use a cotton or a bamboo or maybe even a synthetic that's very smooth, but you want it to be soft and comfortable. This particular hat that I've made is 100% cotton and it was made with a very simple lacy stitch that I'm going to show you today. It starts in the center with a, a circle and then it continues with double crochet V stitches going down the sides and continues with a simple double crochet brim. The hat begins with single crochet. I made a chain of four. I joined that chain to form a ring and then I made eight single crochet in the center of that ring. I did three rows increasing with the standard circle increase so that I have 24 stitches. Now that I have my single crochet ring, I'm going to slip stitch in the next stitch. Then I will make a chain four and I will double crochet into the same stitch where I made my slip stitch. That makes my first V stitch. I'm going to skip one, make a V stitch in the next single crochet by making double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. I'm going to continue in this fashion all the way around until I have a total of 12 V stitches. Once I have 12 V stitches in my ring, then I'm going to make a double V stitch in every other stitch, which I will demonstrate for you. The double V stitch is essentially three double crochets with one stitch between. I made this here for demonstration purposes. I would not actually use this stitch in this spot. What you're going to do is you're going to make your double V stitch into the center of these V's. So I'm going to undo that one. Once you have your double V stitches in place, you're going to continue by making one V stitch into the space of each of the previous V stitches with no increases until you reach the length that you want for your hat. Once you reach the length that you want for your hat, just make one single crochet in every stitch all the way around, then one double crochet in every stitch all the way around, followed by one more row of single crochet in every stitch all the way around, then join Cut your yarn, weave in your ends, and you're finished. That's how you make a nice lacy chemo hat.